Hello, today we're going to introduce to Imagine Art AI, an amazing image creator AI that's going to add a lot of fun to your days. Imagine Art AI is a super user-friendly tool that lets you create beautiful pictures, even if you're not a pro artist or designer. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to start using this fantastic image creator AI to make amazing images from your ideas. You'll see how to use text, different art styles, and other cool options to create unique art. Whether you're a pro artist or just want to have some creative fun, by the end of this video, you'll be able to make images from text using this image creator AI, try out different art styles and effects with this image creator AI, improve and adjust your creations with this image creator AI, share your awesome images made with this image creator AI. No matter if you want to create art for a game, design a logo, or just make some cool wall art, imagine art AI. This fantastic image creator AI has got you covered. So let's jump in and learn how to use Imagine Art AI, this amazing image creator AI, to make incredible pictures. To begin using Imagine Art AI, the first step is to create an account. You can find the link to the website either in the video description or by searching Imagine Art AI on Google. Once you're on their website's homepage, look for and click on Go to Dashboard to enter the tool. Inside the tool's interface, there's a box where you need to type in what you want to create, like create a peaceful beach sunset. After you've typed your request, click on the Generate button. Sometimes, a message might pop up asking you to either log in if you have an account or create one if you don't. If you don't have an account, click on Sign Up, you'll see three options. Sign up with Google, Sign up with Facebook, or Sign up with Discord. You can also sign up using your email if you prefer. For this example, let's choose Continue with Google to make it quick. Next, you'll pick your Google account, which is usually your email. After a short wait, the account creation will finish and you'll land on your Imagine Art AI dashboard. Now, you're ready to start creating and working with art and images. Let's say you want to create a movie standard realistic picture with AI of some humanitarian or personality. You can give the AI a prompt like this, a photorealistic portrait of Nelson Mandela, captured in a moment of joy in classic black and white. I'm always looking for great video topics, so if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to make a video on your topic. So now, let's explore the available models. Select the realistic version from the models option on right side. If you wish to add a unique artistic style to your creation, you can certainly do that as well. However, we'll delve into that aspect in a later part of this video. Stick with us till the end and you'll gain a deeper understanding of the process. If you find this helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. With your input, the AI will set to work and generate an image of Nelson Mandela that mirrors reality to the best of its abilities based on the prompt you've provided. By default, it maintains a 1-1 aspect ratio, but for that cinematic widescreen look at 16 by 9, it's available in the premium plan. However, I've got you covered. Check out the special link in the video description to grab a discount on your subscription with them. Before we move on to the next example, here's a valuable tip to help you achieve more accurate results from your creative ideas when writing prompts for image generation, it is important to be as specific as possible. The more information you give the model, the better the results will be. For example, instead of simply saying a cat, you could say a black cat with green eyes sitting on a red couch. You can also use descriptive language to create a specific mood or atmosphere. For example, instead of saying a landscape, you could say a lush green valley with a winding river and snow-capped mountains in the distance. So let's take an example here for example here. Create a melting clock in the style of Salvador Dali. This is a fantastic prompt because it's specific and creative. It tells the AI exactly what to generate, which is a melting clock, and it even specifies the style it should be in, the iconic Salvador Dali style. Here's where the magic of the AI era truly shines. The prompts. The better your prompts, the better your final image results will be. The best part, you can even get assistance from ChatGPT to craft these imaginative prompts. Here's how it works. I'll go ahead and chat with ChatGPT for a couple of minutes to show you how it can be done effectively. Now, I'm on ChatGPT, and it doesn't matter if you're using ChatGPT 3.5 or 4. What matters is getting the best results. Let me demonstrate how ChatGPT can help you craft more compelling prompts for image generation. I'll enter a description of my imagination. The cartoon cat is drawn in a whimsical style with exaggerated features and bright colors it bounds along the road with carefree abandon, its tail flicking in the air. The car, on the other hand, 
is rendered with painstaking realism. Every detail from the headlights to the hubcaps is meticulously crafted. Now let's convert this vivid imagination into a concise prompt for image generation. To do this effectively, use the most relevant keywords to align with your imagination. Now as you can see, ChatGPT has efficiently crafted a great prompt for image generation from my imagination in just a couple of minutes. You can easily copy this prompt and use it with the AI image generation tool. Let's return to the Imagine Art AI creator to put this into action. First, enter the prompt you obtained from ChatGPT. Next, select the model you'd like to use. In this case, let's say we choose Imagine V4. Now, to add a touch of style to our art, click on the Add Style button. In the Style options, you'll find a variety to choose from. For our example, since our imagination is centered around a cartoon cat, we'll go with Disney because it complements the cartoon theme. Feel free to pick a style that aligns with your specific imagination. Once you've selected the style, you can also choose the aspect ratio. Unfortunately, some ratios like 16:9 are part of the premium package. However, for this demonstration, we'll stick with the free one by one aspect ratio. Now with your prompt model style and aspect ratio all set, simply click on the generates button. Let's see how Imagine Art AI brings our imagination to life. The AI generated the art exactly how I imagined it. It's amazing how AI can bring our imagination to life. Here's a helpful tip. You can use models to make pictures based on what you imagine. It's as easy as this. First, think about what you want to create and how you want it to look. Then, just pick a model that fits your idea. To make things even clearer, let's actually try it out together so you can see how it works. For example, I had something like this in mind. A photorealistic image of a fluffy white Persian cat with bright green eyes sitting on a rainbow with a city skyline in the background. The cat's tail is curled around its paws, and the rainbow is a vibrant arc of colors stretching across the sky. In the background, the city skyline rises up, a gleaming collection of skyscrapers and towers. If you're not sure how to turn your imagination into a specific prompt, feel free to watch the video or review the content we discussed earlier. This can help you understand things more clearly. For now, just put your prompt in the box and I'll help you out. Prompt a photorealistic image of a cat sitting on a rainbow with a city skyline in the background. I choose the realistic model because in my imagination, I want the cat to look completely real. So I pick the realistic mode to make sure the cat in the image looks just like a real one. Here's another way to make your AI generated images even better. Just click on add style under the art style option. You can pick any style you like from there. I'm going with fantasy because it's closer to a realistic look but choose any style that fits your creative idea in this versatile tool. Now that I've input the style into the prompt box, it's time to utilize the tool and see what it can create. Let's click on generate and prepare to be amazed. Wow, the result exceeds my expectations. This tool is even better than I had hoped. Something specific within an image. Here's how you can do it. First, you need to input a prompt. For instance, you can use the prompt a 3D rendering of a futuristic city on Mars with flying cars and towering skyscrapers. Now select a style that suits your vision. In this case, I'll choose Revanimated as it closely aligns with what I want. While the AE3 rendering style might not be free, Revanimated is a viable option. Next, click on Generate. The AI will work its magic and the image will be created. But what if there's something in the generated image that you want to remove or change? You can use the negative prompt section to specify what you don't want in the image. Then, clicks generates again. Now, as you can see, the changes have been applied. This is how you can optimize and fine tune an image for better results using AI. Here's an interesting feature to enhance your image generation experience. If the generated image isn't as close to your initial prompt as you'd like, you can adjust the CFG scale. Increasing this scale helps generate an image that aligns better with your prompt. However, keep in mind that the higher you scale it, the more it might affect the image's quality. To maintain image quality while scaling, you can adjust the step scale below it. If you set the step scale to be equal to or higher than the CFG scale, you'll get a higher quality image that's more relevant to your prompt. Now, for the final part of this tutorial, upscaling the images, simply scroll down to the generated image and you'll find an option called Image Upscaler. Click on it and the image will begin processing and upscaling. It might take some time, especially in the free version. If you'd like a faster experience, there's a link in the description to switch to the paid plan. 
Once the image is upscaled, you'll notice the improvement in its quality. To download it, click on the download button, which you can find in the upper right hand corner. Select download and that's set. You now have the image saved on your computer, laptop or mobile device, ready to be used as you see fit. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. I put a lot of effort into researching and creating this content so that it would be as easy to understand as possible. If you found it helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you're not already using Imagine AI, I highly recommend checking it out. It's a powerful tool that can help you with all sorts of tasks, from writing and translating to generating creative content. Let's check out their pricing options before you make a decision. They offer three plans to choose from. The iFreeze plan is for beginners, but has fewer features. If you want more, the standard plan at $99 per year gives you faster processing, access to all styles and models, and a commercial license. The ZC plan at $70 per year is for serious users who want extra features for personal or business projects. Pick the plan that suits your needs and start creating with AI-generated images. There's a free plan available, but if you want to get the most out of Imagine AI, I recommend switching to a paid plan. It's a small investment, but it makes a big difference. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.